Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting at our video for you guys. And well, today we're we'll doing another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Spider Man No Way Home. So, you guys know that today is actually the two year anniversary of the movie. And yes, it's been two years since No Way Home had hit theaters on December 17th of 2021. Now, just to let you guys know that this movie was actually one of the best movies that I uh, was called. What's called that I seen since two thousand uh twenty one and honestly like I'm not gonna lie it's actually a great movie I mean like literally since what's called it that like if you guys don't know that in twenty nineteen like literally Spider Man uh, was called they announced that Spider Man was gonna be brought out of the MCU because due to Sony's deal and then I guess that since you know fans kind of went crazy we gotta say like oh oh like Spider Man's not gonna be in the MCU so like literally that's when Tom Holland just ended up getting a call from the CEO of. Disney and then like literally and then I guess somehow he was drunk so like literally I guess that kind of you know saved the future of Spider-Man and then they actually kind of was uh uh they actually kind of you know uh, what's called agreed to do another movie and then I guess then we will end up wrapping up you know Tom Holland's uh what's called that we're wrapping up the MCU Spider-Man trilogy but uh, what's called but literally since as soon as when uh What's called, uh, what's called literally the event with the movie started in 2020 since you know the pandemic happened uh, and uh, was and like literally like around like an early and then like around like later twenty twenty. Well, we actually got some announcements that you know Jimmy Fox was going to be returning as a uh, uh Electro, and then alongside Demon and uh, was we also got the announcement that Alfred Molina was actually returned to his prize role as Doctor Octopus from Spider Man Two. And well, yeah, like literally throughout the past couple of months of 2021 we've been getting leaks and rumors regarding on no way home and then we finally like around august we actually got the first trailer and i mean the teaser trailer and then in november we actually got the official trailer and then in december the movie was released and well yeah it actually became what's called big kid making over a billion dollars at the box office and then literally like we also got the announcement that sony wants to do another trilogy with marvel studios and then they announced that spider-man 4 was in development but the thing is is that spider-man 4 is actually stuck uh stuck in development because like uh due to the fact that well i guess that since do, uh what's going to do the past marvel movies were not kind of big successful with ant -Man 3 flopping guardians galaxy 3 barely making a billion dollars and well the marvels kind of actually f flopped at the box office so i guess that literally seems that tom holland is actually kind of scared that what if actually spider-man 4 actually kind of you know uh what's called becomes a big mess i mean like, literally that's what tom holland actually said in the say that he won't return to play the role of spider-man uh, unless if the script is good and honestly i actually kind of agree with him because here's the thing guardians 3 i mean I, here's the thing mf3 well i kind of like it was kind of interesting to go and see they introduced the big bad villain of the next saga which was king the conqueror but it wasn't really that much of a menace than thanos or loki or even what's called the other villains and well literally like guardians 3 well i'm not gonna lie it's pretty great to see what's called the guardians get their own trilogy and what well, they finally you know completed and then with the marvels i mean like the what's called literally the marvels were actually it was actually kind of a fun movie but honestly i guess that people kind of like hate it because you know they're well whether they say that they're calling it walk, but you know, it's just like that's just a different what's it called issue. And I was called, but literally, like, uh, here's the thing, but with the upcoming next Marvel movie, which is Deadpool 3, which is set to hit theaters around the summer of 2024, well, seems that people are saying that, oh, yeah, it's actually gonna probably be, be Marvel's first hit since, I guess, you know, uh, what's it called since 2023. But let's see, because here's the thing, I'm looking forward to see Deadpool 3 because, you know, they're bringing back Wolverine and also alongside they're bringing back the original X-Men, which is actually a rumor. But honestly, I'm looking forward to it. And and also, like, well, discussing about Spider-Man, yeah, it basically seems how Tom Holland said that he will return to role unless if the script is good. And if the script's good, then he'll return. If not, then, well, I don't know if when are we going to see Spider-Man 4, but I guess that we'll see it soon. But going uh, discussing about No Way Home, honestly, I enjoy seeing no way home I mean, like it was a great movie because it actually kind of centered on where spider-man actually was because his identity was uh revealed for the first time even though that in the previous spider-man movies we've seen uh his identity revealed but in no way home it actually kind of was called they did it differently where everybody kind of hates him calling in that oh yeah you took out mysterio i mean like they called him the villain until suddenly he had to go into doctor strange and and so 
making uh what's it called uh and uh ends up getting Doctor Strange to uh make a spell to go and make everybody forget he was Spider Man, but that kind of goes uh what's uh goes uh uh that kind of actually kind of goes wrong where uh he ends up actually bringing uh what's called villains from the different universes like for uh what's called like Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, Thomas Hayden Church's Salmon, Reese Iffins the Lizard, and Jamie Foxx the Electro. And well, literally, I know that for some time, uh, uh, people, uh, what, uh, uh, people were saying that, oh yeah, is the movie gonna include the Sinister Six or quote unquote the multiverse Sinister Six? And well, like you're saying, it was there was uh, was it was kind of confirmed was called that the movie was only gonna have five villains, which I'm like like kind of sucked that like literally that the movie was one villain away for completing a sinister six but here's the if you guys know that there was some concept art and i'm going to show you guys and well the concept art actually shows we have seen dr strange fighting mysterio and well uh originally since that mysterio was actually said to appear in the movie but i guess that literally the people were uh making the rumors and theories say that oh yeah uh was called like there were, uh, people were making rumors say that oh yeah like this mysterio could actually be i guess a uh variants for a different universe even though that the movie involved the multiverse and i guess that what's called this mystery could be from a different universe it could probably maybe be from the what's called i guess from like here's the thing like literally uh the rumor that i actually kind of you know what's called is that probably this mystery could be a variant from the uh 1990s marvel anime universe you know with the uh what's called spider-man animated series and also alongside with the x-men etc and well literally i guess that this mysterious collection be from that universe kind of same thing where in the post credit scene for the marvels where they brought uh, uh what's called beast from the x-men trilogy but he was actually you know what's called in his uh what's called in his animated series appearance and well honestly i guess that probably with this mysterious he could actually probably be also from that was called from the um, 90s anime universe as well so who knows i guess i'm just you know throwing that what's called uh out there and then there's also another concept work that shows vulture was actually gonna be appearing in the movie and since that well i also kind of came up with a, uh what's called that is that maybe i guess that uh the movie was actually set to go and actually introduce both the vulture and mysterio and i guess that somehow those two villains we're actually going to be working with, you know, the multiverse villains. And I guess that probably, like, well, here's the thing. There's a, uh, I'm going to show you guys a concept art, which actually shows, you know, what looks to be is actually, you know, our first concept art that shows Michael Keaton's vulture. And it, sh it sees them, I guess, somewhere, I guess, in a, in a, uh, what's it called, gas station somewhere where this actually, um, this scene takes place. And I guess this is actually, you know, one of the alternate scenes before they landed on the apartment scene. And, well... In this alternate scene, we're actually seeing uh, what's called, I guess, what's called Peter with Sam, who's on the left. They're actually working on the uh, what's called on you know curing the villains. We see Doctor Octopus in the middle, and the way back we see Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin tied up. So I guess that probably you know he's already you know gone taken over by the Goblin. And also on the right we see Michael Keaton's Vulture. So literally, I guess that for his role in the movie, I guess that he was originally supposed to be what's called like uh in the movie, and I guess that he was gonna help be helping peter you know cure the villains until once when the goblin goes crazy and then you know vulture ends up actually getting in his suit and fights against the goblin but i guess somehow he ends up dying i guess during that scene i guess that basically well literally i guess some oh honestly like here's what i could tell seems like they were gonna kill off vulture in the movie but doctor would have been messed up because you know i mean like they literally killed off vulture like it was called, literally, honestly that would have been messed up because you know they the uh, it was called that they were gonna kill off you know the what's called uh what's called the villain that you know uh what's called that spiderman saved in homecoming and now like literally he's he came back to help him and then he gets up uh, taking off he gets taken out by willem the false green gun which i'm not gonna lie it would be cool to see michael keaton's vulture fight willem the false green goblin that would have been so badass but literally i guess that you know we never got to see that and well this and also alongside we even got another concept where which shows i guess you know uh peter taking the multiverse villains to i guess a rehab center where michael Keats's vulture is actually held out but and i guess that he was going to be helping what's called the villains you know i, I guess uh, what's called like i mentioned he was going to cure the villains and basically well in that concept where we don't really see salmon or the lizard so i guess i probably this must have been like maybe like 
I uh, was I guess I probably this scene must have been I guess what's called uh, I guess the what I could tell the scenes are probably that console run was actually been taking place I guess in an alternate scene of you know once when uh Spider-Man catches both the Green Goblin and was uh and Dr. Octo was probably during that bridge battle because just to let you guys know that the bridge fight scene went through several concepts. So I guess that probably this console art takes place in a what's called after the bridge. And I guess for Jimmy Fox's Electro, who knows if he even actually appeared in that in, a, in one of those alternate uh, concepts of the bridge fight scene. I guess that when we all and what's called literally just to let you guys know that the villains actually look exactly like the way how they looked in the movies. Like the Green Goblin looks exactly uh the same how he looked in the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. Same thing goes with Dr. Octopus and Electro. Well, he's back to his human form, but he's actually wearing, you know, the same suit from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And well, literally, I could say the same thing with Sandman and the Lizard. They could have probably maybe also looked the same, but those villains also went through several concepts and like, I guess they end up landing onto the final concept where they just end up having him look the same the way how they looked in the movies. And well, yeah, basically, this movie actually went through several concepts, and it seems that literally that the cr creators actually wanted to go and, uh, what's called, bring this, like, uh, the creators actually had a lot of crazy ideas of how to bring, you know, the villain, I uh, was got the, was got how to bring the movie to, I uh, was got, like, they actually had several crazy ideas, and honestly, the crazy ideas that they actually went with is just, like, you know, of actually having, you know, Peter, uh, uh, was uh, face off the villains, I guess, earlier, and then basically what the the way how the villains will look in the movie. I'm like, literally, there was actually a lot of concept arts of the villains alongside with Spider Man and also both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Spider Man, like you know, well, basically they also had there were also appearing many cons uh, concept arts and. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, basically this movie went through several, like, what's it called, crazy ideas until they landed on the final idea, and then, well, literally, that's kind of, you know, what we saw and what we seen in the original, in, in the final movie, and honestly, well, it kind of turned out great, it was, uh, let's go, uh, it turned out great, but honestly, like, what I, like, I know that there's some people kind of did complain about, oh, yeah, it was called that this movie was actually, you know, for the, I was called, like, you know, like, literally, uh, People did not actually kind of like that. Oh yeah, it was actually for the, what's called, what's called too much, you know, uh, what's called like literally like it was just like well I, I would say it's too much, but I guess that people did not like it. But honestly, it's actually a great movie, and plus it kind of also, oh it kind of also kind of you know brings I guess nostalgia to the original Sam, uh, Raimi trilogy alongside with the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and it's just like I guess this movie is also kind of you know for nostalgia. Well, what's called for nostalgia and also alongside with, you know, just actually, you know, doing something, you know, new. But honestly, like, it's actually, it turned out pretty great. I mean, like, I did enjoy seeing the movie. And if you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and, and check it out. You'll actually have fun, you know, s seeing it. Well, there you have you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification. And I'll see you guys later.